Herod feared John, knowing him to be a righteous and holy man, and kept him in custody. Today is the memorial of the Passion of St. John the Baptist. Our Gospel reading from Mark tells us about it. As you know, St. John the Baptist criticized Herod for taking his, Herod's brother's wife, Herodias. And she harbored a grudge with John the Baptist and used her daughter to get Herod to order his execution. Our verse today sets the stage for that execution. Herod feared John, we're told. Not because he was a loud voice condemning him, but because he was a loud voice condemning him who was righteous and holy. In other words, he was credible. The words of John the Baptist are powerful in their truth, but they're impactful because of John's character. You know, we often don't think enough about credibility. As I mentioned the other day, we do think a lot about what other people think about us. But the question is, is that for the sake of the gospel? Now, all of this is why our own hypocrisy of, as Christians often gets in the way of the gospel message we're trying to communicate. So the question is, what do we do? Where do we begin to, to remedy this? I think part of the answer is to heed our own message and to remember that the Christian message is also one of forgiveness and mercy and to embrace that as the central driving force of, yes, our message, but also of our whole lives. Additionally, part of John the Baptist's credibility is that in all of his influence, he never points to himself. In fact, his role in the Gospels is precisely to point us towards Christ, even in his own passion foreshadowing that of Christ. Maybe we too should strive to always point to Christ so that, as John the Baptist tells us in a different passage, we may decrease and he may increase.